Good morning, today's lesson is 4.5. Today we're gonna to estimate quotients using compatible numbers. Our essential question, how can you use compatible numbers to estimate quotients? Let's unlock the problem. A horse's heart beats 132 times in three minutes. About how many times does it beat in one minute? You can use compatible numbers to estimate the quotients. A compatible number, they are numbers that are easy to com compute mentally, okay? So let's look at breaking this apart. Do we know, will a horse's heart beat more or fewer than 132 times in one minute? Well, if it's 132 times in three minutes, then we know it's going to be less in one minute, right? So it'll be fewer times. What operation will you use to solve the problem? Well, to solve the problem, I'm going to have to divide, right? I need to divide the 132 into three minutes to find out how many it is for one minute. So I'm going to use division. So example one. So if we're going to estimate 132 divided by 3, first I'm going to find a number that's close to 132 that divides easily by 3. So if I use basic flat facts, I know that 12 divided by 3 is a basic fact. And 120 divides easily by 3. I also know that 15 divided by 3 is a basic fact. And 150 divides easily by 3. So I need to think. I can choose 120 or I could choose 150. Well, I'm going to choose 120 because it's closer to 132. So my basic fact that I'm going to use is 12 divided by 3 or 120 divided by 3. So step two is to replace is to use place value like we did yesterday. So 120 tens is 12 tens. So now we're doing 12 divided by 3 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. 12 tens divided by 3 tens is 4 tens, and 4 tens is 40, right? So a horse's heartbeat beats about 40 times. So we're not doing the exact. We're not doing 132 divided by 3. We're doing compatible numbers that are close. So our estimate is going to be 40 times a minute. Example 2. Use compatible numbers to find two estimates that the quotient is between. So... 1,382 divided by 5. So if you're going to find two numbers that are close to 1,382 that can easily divide by 5, you have to think, um, well, 5 is a, an easy number, right? It's, it's got a great b um, basic fact. So I know that 10 divided by 5 is a basic fact that easily divides into 5. I also know that 15 is a basic fact. So 1,500 divides easily by 5. Now, 1,382 is between 1,000 and 1,500. So step 2 now is to divide each number by 5 using place value. So 1,000 divided by 5. Well, 10 hundreds divided by 5 is 2 hundreds or 200, right? And then 1,500 divided by 5, well, that's 15 hundreds, right, divided by 5. And 15 divided by 5 is 3 hundreds. So, or you could write it 3 hundreds. So this is just using them. So we know that 1,382 divided by 5 is going to be between 200 and 300. So we know that the exact number is going to lie between that. So we're estimating and we're just trying to find the range on this one. That's why we had to do it twice. Instead of picking one number that's closest to, we're getting the range. And the range is 200 to 300. That's about how much the answer is or the quotient is. So on the share and show, they want us to do a range as well. So we've got 17, 18, and we need to find a compatible number that goes into 4. Well, I know a basic fact is um, I know 16. I know 4 can go into 16 evenly. So if I did 1,600, and 1,600 is close to 1,780, 18. And then I also know that 4 can go into 20, so we can do 2,000. So um, the basic fact I used for the first one was 16, and the basic fact I used for the second one was 20. But again, it's... Um, we're doing it um, 1600s and 20 hundreds, so it would really be 1600, which would be close to it. So um, if we're looking to find which one is better to use, 
<clears throat> we could use, I would use the 1600 um, because it's closer to, um, to 1718 on the number line. So if we're going to go ahead and solve this out, we've got um, 16, which is our basic fact, divided by 4, and 16 divided by 4 is 4, but it's really um, 4 hundredths, right? Because we are using basic facts here. So 1600 divided by 4 is 400. So 1718 divided by 4 is about 400, okay? Now, if we were doing a range, then I would do the 1600 and I would do the 20 or 2000, and then it would be between 400 and whatever the 2000 was. But on this one, they just wanted you to estimate the one time. Okay, I'm just going to do a few more for you. Um, this one is using compatible numbers again to estimate, so we're only doing the one compatible number. So I have to think in my head, and you've got to know your multiplication facts on this. So I know that 9 goes into 45 evenly. So if I use 45 and 9 as my compatible number, so if I change this to be 450 divided by 9, it is easy for me to commute, compute. 9 goes into 45 um, 5 times, and then again I have my 1, 0 there, because it's really 9 goes into 45 tens, so it's going to be 50, because 5 tens is 50. All right, so again, you've got to know your math facts. 3 goes into 15 pretty compatibly, so I can make this be 1,500 if I'm, again, I'm just estimating. So 3 goes into 15 five times, and it's really 3 going into 15 hundreds because there's two zeros here, so my answer is going to be 500. Now I've got 8, and I've got 176. Well, 8 doesn't go into 17, so I have to think of a number that's compatible. 8 go, does go into 16. So if I change this to be 160 divided by 8, because again, I'm just estimating and I won't need a number that's compatible. Um, 8 goes into 16 two times, but it's really, um, this isn't really 16, it's 16 tens. So I need to add my 0 because it's two tens or 20. Let's do this next one. So I've got 7 going into 2,795. So I need to think of a number that's compatible. Well, 27 really isn't compatible, but 28 is because it, tw it goes into 28 evenly. So I'm going to make this be 2,800 when I'm estimating. 7 goes into 28 four times, but it's really 28 hundreds because there's two zeros, right? So this is really four hundreds or 400. All right, I'm going to have you work on these problems on your own. So remember, these are just using compatible numbers to estimate the quotient. But on this set, they want you to find two estimates. So this is like I did in the other problem where you're going to actually find two different estimates so that you can get that range. Okay? All right, you're going to work with a partner, or um, if you need me, I will be on the carpet. And good luck.